All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So the first cards that we have are admiring you. We have keeping tabs on you and we got cutthroat. So someone here is definitely keeping tabs on you. This is either someone that you know or you have a mega. Or this could be you, but I feel like it's someone else doing that to you. Okay, so we got Pisces. So it could be someone with really strong Pisces placements. I feel like for the most part, this is someone that you haven't met yet. All right, so hold on, y'all. We could have really strong Pisces placements. Praise you over the way you move. Ooh. Okay, so someone here is definitely fucking mesmerized by you. We got marry me. This person's all fucked up over you, y'all. This is not a joke. When I see this card, this is like crazy. This is like obsessed, infatuated, or it's like they're just heavily like admiring you, checking you out with their friend. So it could be someone that you meet in person, someone who lives in the town or suburbs. You turn me on so easily. I feel like that's later on in the connection when you guys are getting intimate. Let me see. We got mine. This person is very dominant. Like, I'm not saying that this person's like obsessed with you in a very like possessive way, but they're definitely like, they're very dominant. Okay, I feel like this person is very dominant. They're very what's mine is mine type of thing. That's what I get from that. We got Cancer, so it could be someone with strong Pisces placements and Cancer placements. You could also be a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, if you watch this reading, this is probably for you. But I feel like for the most part, it's them with the strong Cancer Pisces placements. Yeah, I feel like this person is very like what's mine is mine type of thing you know what i mean so we got jealousy being yourself attracts so many they don't like the fact that you get a lot of people flirting with you or checking you out yeah they're definitely observing you okay and i feel like they observe you online this is someone who either knows you in the community and they check you out online or it's like someone who's about to pursue you in the near future someone that you haven't met yet they ask for your number they ask for your socials and then they're keeping tabs on you online and they don't like people like fucking flirting with you. Like that's what I'm getting from that. So I feel like that Pisces or Cancer is someone that you haven't met yet. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, let me see what else we got. Make the cards fall out. Give me more messages about make the cards fall out. Thank you. So we got unbreakable bond. Like this person, when I tell you, like water signs are so fucking loyal. Like they do not play for the most part. Most of them, they're very like uh, solid in relationships. So I feel like this is someone who you can like really rely on. Yeah, this person is very trustworthy. This is your soulmate. Beautiful. And then we have meditate on it. So you really need to go within for even more answers on this person when you meet them. Okay, let me shuffle. Yeah, I don't think that Pisces or Cancer is talking about you. I feel like that's who you're about to meet. Someone with those strong placements, those zodiac signs. Any more messages about make the cards fall out? Okay, you might meet them in uh, two to three months. 
you might even see it happening before you actually meet this person. You know what's funny? Um, in the beginning, while I was shuffling this reading, I actually dreamt of like a little bit of what I was just doing for you guys right now. And I, I remember that from my dreams. But I don't actually like say it to people because it's kind of weird. So that's so funny. So yeah, I don't know if you guys get like deja vu a lot. This is something that's very common. More common than you would think. So I feel like a lot of you guys, from time to time, something happens in your dream. Um, and then it actually happens in real life. So if you're like that, this is probably for you. Even if you don't have deja vu, this reading could still resonate, but that's definitely very significant in your reading. Okay, so we got yin yang energy. We got obsessed. Or maybe this person's having deja vu over you, like they saw you coming. Um, this is someone that you're going to meet in public, and then we got tall male. So yeah, I feel like in two to three months, Pisces, Cancer, definitely your soulmate. And Pisces, by the way, is duality. Like, it's the two fishes going in circles. Like, that's duality. Like, Pisces is the embodiment of yin-yang. So I feel like that's definitely, like, for most of you guys, it's going to be a Pisces. Yeah, they want you so bad. Okay, let me see what else we got. Give me more messages on this person, please. Thank you. So this person's planning a proposal. Oh, okay. So someone with strong Virgo placements as well. So this person could have Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, perhaps other Zodiac placements, but confidence is key. So you have to be like on your game. <laughs> Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys could be kind of like intimidated or shy or it's like you you just like it comes to like a shock to you when this person approaches you or it's like there's something about this person that might throw you off like intimidation wise. So spirit is telling you confidence is key. Okay, I feel like that's like the main thing. I feel like you guys are going to see this person like before they actually come towards you. I feel like your spirits or your angels, even if you've never had like deja vu before, this is like a very significant person in your life. It's very important. So I feel like spirit would want you to see that happening before it happens, perhaps. So even if you've never had deja vu, excuse me, deja vu before, it's still possible to have this happen. Okay, so let me see. Something flipped out, I think. Yeah, so this person could have light hair, like dirty blonde, uh, brunettish type of hair. Thank you. This person definitely loves you. Definitely fucking loves you, y'all. Okay, it's literally all over your reading. This person's obsessed. Like, I don't know how else to fucking put it. Soulmate, unbreakable bond. Ooh, say no more, y'all. Okay, not everybody gets to have a soulmate in a lifetime. So this is like, some people have more than one soulmate in a lifetime. Okay, we got get ready. So this is going to happen sooner than you think. Right, so we got balanced finances. This person's very stable. We got beautiful opportunity. Never expected to fall so hard for you. Okay, so that could be you, I feel like. I feel like that's why you're kind of thrown off. Confidence is key, y'all. Okay, so that's your reading, and I will follow up with you in the next reading.